This is the man police want to talk to in relation to last night's double murder in Sydney's east. While police won't name him, the ABC can confirm he's Anthony Waterlow, the older brother and son of those who were murdered. The male person fitting this description was seen walking uh, away from the home and certainly in a southerly direction uh, towards the Duke of Gloucester Hotel. Police were called to the house in Randwick at six last night. Inside were the bodies of 37-year-old Chloe Waterlow and her 68-year-old father, Nick Waterlow. Uh, both the victims appear to have died of serious stab wounds. Chloe Waterlow's husband, Ben Houston, was in London on business. The couple's three children were at home at the time. The four-month-old baby boy and four-year-old boy were unharmed. Their two-year-old sister was rushed to hospital with a neck wound. Uh, she is safe and well and not in a serious condition and being treated in hospital. Neighbours were today coming to terms with the tragedy on their doorstep. Well, it's quite shocking. Um, it's just very sad that these poor little children have lost their mum and their grandfather. Chloe Waterlow had worked in publicity at the ABC. Today she was remembered as a friend and valued colleague. She was warm, I would say warm, um, great sense of humour, um, nice to be around, really calm, you know, she was a really calming influence in the workplace. Her father, Nick Waterlow, was a well-known art gallery director who was a key figure behind the Sydney Biennale. This has international ramifications in terms of the loss of this great mind, this great curator, this great gallery director to the world. The children's father is expected to return home tonight. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News, Sydney.